Well, it's been two days since that bombshell report accusing Governor Andrew Cuomo of rampant sexual misconduct. Today, he's still refusing calls to resign. And as we wait for what comes next here, two on your side is paging through the Attorney General's report, and we noticed one prominent Western New Yorker is mentioned inside it. Howard Zemsky, who served as the head of Empire State Development. Our Dave McKinley explains tonight why Zemsky was called to testify. Among Cuomo's accusers, you could say that Lindsey Boylan was the one who got the ball rolling. The first of them to go public, starting with a series of tweets last December, including one in which she said, yes, Governor Cuomo sexually harassed me for years. Many saw it and watched. Two months later in February of this year, an online essay through Medium, which began with the words, let's play strip poker. She claimed the governor made that remark to her on a plane after an event in western New York in October of 2017. At the time, Boylan served as vice president of Empire State Development, and her boss was the chair of that agency, Buffalo's Howard Zemsky, who was also among those sitting in close quarters on the plane. In what the attorney general's report classifies as an attempt by top aides to the governor to discredit Boylan, in part by leaking her personnel files to media outlets, and by drafting a statement they asked Zemsky and others to add their names to, claiming that such a conversation never happened. Zemsky signed on, but later, while speaking under oath to investigators, the report says Mr. Zemsky testified that he in fact did recall the governor making a comment about strip poker on a plane and that the statement was directed at Ms. Boylan. Zemsky also expressed his belief that remark was made in jest. When he testified to investigators, the governor not only denied making the remark, but according to the report, the governor went on further to testify that he does not remember ever saying the word strip poker in his life. The report notes that even prior to this, Boylan had conveyed to Zemsky her increasing uneasiness about the governor's behavior toward her, not only through her remarks about her appearance, but also unwanted touching and kissing. Coming up at 6, more about how Howard Zemsky also viewed the governor's comments toward Boylan to be inappropriate and how he offered to intervene on her behalf to try and put a stop to it. In the newsroom, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.